If you want to become a successful trader, stop chasing the money. Focus on the process. One major part of the process is risk management. Think about it this way. From now, each and every trade you are going to take, you are going to lose. This is the way I think. Now, it's much easier for me to understand what is my risk management. If I'm going to lose the next trade, how much am I willing to lose? This way, you will focus on the process. You will focus better on your entry point, your exit point, your stop loss. And this is how you will become a consistent, profitable trader. Hey there, I'm here from FibonaciTraders.com with the Daily Market Recap. Please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends, and without any further ado, let's see the charts. So CPI came out, but we are still in an indecision state in the market. Four consecutive dojis, we have higher lows, lower highs, which, mean, which means the market is an indecision. If the market cannot decide where to go, we surely cannot decide. We need to sit and wait for a major move. And when I say a major move, I mean weekly break above this purple trend line and we are heading north towards the 454, closing the gap at the 455 and then 460 or breaking below this purple trend line to the downside. And then we are heading towards the 437, 433 and 4. 20 closing this gap at the 422 sit and wait until the market will show you the direction and we took some nice short intraday day trading in our premium room premium discord now as you can see we trade day trading also according to line chart fibonacci and trend lines that's it no other indicators cleaning chart and follow price and price action and we took this short all the way down from 450 44 75 towards 4459 now if you want to become a premium member no problem Check the links in the description below. Gold membership will gain you access to the premium room and you will see all the day trading ideas that we take. Or if you want, we have the one-on-one -on -one live mentorship program and the online program. Both programs will gain you lifetime access support, guidance, and all Discord channels. Check the links in the description below for further information. You are more than welcome to contact me on Twitter and on Discord. Let's continue on the QQQ. 372 is holding as support. This purple trend line, very tough resistance, long continuation above this trend line, or prepare for both sides. Below, a weekly close below the 369, and we are heading towards the 358 with this double top scenario. Dow Jones, purple trend line, very tough resistance. This purple trend line holding a support. Weekly close above this purple trend line and we are heading towards the 351, 354 and then 356 and 358. Short downtrend continuation only below this. And of course it's only my opinion. What I say and what I do is my opinion only. Always do your own due diligence. Short below this purple trend line towards the gap at the 339 and then heading towards this gap at the 332 but for now nothing much lower highs higher lows we also have this trend line over here so as you can see price range on the Dow getting tighter and tighter a break will come it's only a question where Prepare for both sides. IWM breaking below this purple trend line. Not a good sign for the IWM. Now the 182 needs to hold. If this one will fail to hold, we are heading towards the gap at the 176. Bitcoin still moving sideways. Nothing much as you can see. 
Ethereum, same thing, went above this major support. Now let's see continuation above this trend line over here. Breaking above this trend line, we are heading towards the 1734. A weekly close below this red line, below the 16K, heading back to this purple trend line. Oil, slowly, slowly grinding up towards the 91.28 and the 95. Now, 85 is our risk management. 86, 85, it's an area of support and an area and areas of resistance natural gas moving sideways since middle of june three months of sideways move long continuation above the 285 short below the 248 sox still holding this white trend line you know this white trend line because you follow me on twitter and you saw previous videos in the past few weeks or so this trend line goes back all the way to October 2022, holding the higher lows. Now, once again, holding strong. But this area, the gap area, is a very tough resistance. Let's see where the SOXX will close the week. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. A weekly close below this trend line. And with high probability, we are heading towards the 4 61 area if we can close during tomorrow or friday this gap next will be the 515 and then 533 let me know in the comments below what do you think where SOXX is heading and why you let you write your comment hit the like subscribe share with friends hit the notification bell we are going live two times a day 8.30 East, 8.30 AM Eastern Time, pre-market preparations, and 12 PM Eastern Time, market review and Q&A. Join us, it's fun. Apple, going towards the 170, 172 area to retest this area is support, breaking below, and we're heading towards this gap at the 167. If you're not long yet, an Apple, I would wait. Because now looks like Apple is going down, going south. I would wait to see some kind of a reversal, same as we did here. And then we might take long. But for now, nothing much on Apple. Of course, we can take short below the 172, towards this gap and towards the 165. AMD trend lines are the true support resistance for price action look at this beautiful white trend line holding the higher lows since october now reaching this trend line over here you know all these trend lines because you follow me on twitter and you saw previous videos these trend lines are not new to you and let's see if amd can break tomorrow or friday close the week above this red trend line and then we are going long Fibonacci traders. We are waiting. We have our alerts at the 110, 111. Amazon, nice break above the 143 area. Now let's see continuation towards the 147, 152, and then towards this purple trend line. If you go back two videos back on the daily market review, we said that after Monday's bullish day, Tuesday will become an intraday, an inside day, holding the 140. And if this will happen, we will get a break above the 143.60 area. Check two days ago. Google, I'm not, I'm not saying this to brag, I'm just saying that by really understanding price action in-depth candlestick analysis fibonacci and trend lines with high probability you can know where price might be heading next and once again i don't say it to brag i say it because it's true i went my first two years 
before I became profitable, consistent profitable trader, I spent 15 to 17 hours a day learning numerous indicators, numerous strategies, until I realized that all we need is understand candles, nothing more. Google, holding above this white trend line, let's see if Google can break and close the week above 137, 138, because for now we have a double top scenario of this area, breaking below this trend line, and we are heading south towards the 131 and 126. Meta, inside day 306, still a very tough resistance. 300, needs to hold the support below it. 293, weekly close above 306, and we are heading towards the 315. Microsoft, once again, perfect example of why trend lines are the true support resistance for price action. 331 needs to hold, otherwise we are heading south. 323, we can also take Fibonacci from here. And as you can see, we have downtrend, bounce, 618, 618 retracement, together with the trend line, tough resistance area breaking up and above. And we are heading towards the 343, 343, 52. Netflix, 5% to the downside. And we said that if the bulls will give up trying to break above the, four, the 450, we are heading south towards this red trend line. Broke this trend, red trend line. Tomorrow, in my opinion, bulls will try to get back above it. If they will not succeed, we are heading towards the 397 and the gap at the 383. NVIDIA, bulls are trying to avoid filling this gap. And in my opinion, until this gap will get filled and until we have another retest on this purple trend line, bulls will not gain back their power. Shopify, slowly, slowly, you know it. You know the 63 area breaking down and under, slowly, slowly sliding towards the 60 gap. Tesla, another doji, another indecision, inside candle, long continuation above the 277 and below the 261. This gap will get filled and this purple trend line will get retested as support. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any other video or live. Until the next video, stay safe.